Right, the last race from Goodwood is a 12 furlong handicap, 0 to 100 handicap, um, for three yards and up. One is Dangerous Outcome, Joshua Sutherland. Two, Megan Markle, Dan Hughes. Three, Fremont Hopeful, Benny Gerard. Four, Danny Magic, Patrick Hogan. Five is Red Rover, also from Patrick Hogan Stable. William Rufus, Kevin Minigan. Winthrop Harbour, Darren Thompson. Montana Early, James Shea. Roaring Forties, Martin Needham. Dolores Abernathy, Dan Hughes. National Guard, Obi Wan. And Snow Martin, Craig Beckwith. Twelve horses. Yeah, on the good ground at Goodwood. At the start, and away they go. Good break by Winthrop Harbour, and then one's outside is a dangerous outcome. Out wide, though, Dolores Abernathy the Grey has taken it up. So Dolores Abernathy leads from Danny Magic, then comes Winthrop Harbour, Snow Made just behind that. On his inside is dangerous outcome. Out wide, turning few positions are roaring 40s. Um, as they settle themselves down, Dolores Abernathy, the grey horse, has gone to the front. Overcome that wide draw to lead from Winter Parbe in second. Danny Magic is on that one's outside with stable companion Red Rover on his outside. In the centre of the track is Montana Early. Right wide with the slightly can white stripes is roaring 40s. Then comes Freeman Hopeful just behind Dangerous Outcome. Travelling really wide is National Guard. Up on the rail is Megan Markle, the second Dan News horse. And at the back of the field is William Rufus for Kevin Minigan. There's about eight lengths first to last year as the lowest Abernethy the grey leads those blue colours um, from his second Winthrop Harbour for Darren Thompson with an outside of that is Dangerous Outcome then comes Red Rover National Guard out wide for Obi-Wan just behind these is uh, Danny Magic with Montana early for James Shell and that one's outside in between those horses the white cap and white sleeves of Snow Maiden for Craig Beckwith uh, behind that on the rail is Megan Markle um, out wide very wide is William Rufus and Fremont Hopeful for Vinnie Jarrett in between those two and it's about eight lengths first to last all as Dolores Abernathy for Dan Hughes takes him along from Winthrop Harbour in second. Then comes Dangerous Outcome for Joshua Sutherland. Been pushed along now as Snow Maiden back in fourth. Travelling well enough on the outside is National Guard and that one's inside is Danny Magic. Then comes Fremont Hopeful who is moving closer from the back of the field. Red Rover behind that. Still travelling well enough is Megan Markle. James Shea's horse has dropped to the rear now. Montana Ali early. Roaring 40s going past that one and William Rufus still at the back of the field. they got three and a half furnace left to travel and it's Dolores Abernathy in front. But yeah, comes Dangerous Outcome for Joshua Sutherland. Uh, Winthrop Harbour still there to push along trying to improve his Snow Maiden. Um, no room for Fremont Hopeful. He's uh, out there. It's uh, Dolores Abernathy from, from Dangerous Outcome. Fremont Hopeful has got nowhere to go. He's stuck behind Winthrop Harbour and Dangerous Outcome. It's Dolores Abernathy in front with a third and a half to go. Now Winthrop Harbour throws down a challenge with on the outside. Fremont Hopeful but they've got to get to this Dolores Abernathy with a third and to go. He's still well there. Yeah, comes Winthrop Harbour though and Fremont Fremont Hopeful was a dangerous outcome. The world's happening that he's getting weary. Winthrop Harbour for Darren Thompson comes to pick it up and Winthrop Harbour's going to go away to win this from Freeman Hopeful in second. Danny Magic might have got third. you got to say the second horse was unlucky though. Had nowhere to go for about two furlongs. But Darren Thompson was, was wins though. Winthrop Harbour wins from Freeman Hopeful. Danny Magic was back in third. Uh, fourth was the other part of Hogan was um, Red Rover and the long-time leader Dolores Abernathy finished, faded back to finish in fifth place.